Hello. If you're watching this video, then it's most likely that you're interested in the development, evolution of religion. Maybe you're opposed to religion altogether. Maybe you're all for religion, but I'm not here to advocate one way or another. My personal opinion is opposed to religion, and I'd rather live without it. I'd rather the global community live without it, but I understand how it is important to many, many people, and I'd like to discuss how we got that way from the beginning. I have a particular hypothesis that I'd like to pose. Feel free to agree with me, feel free to disagree with me, but this is how it goes. So we have to start back at the beginning. At the beginning before agriculture, before civilization, and before humans were really human, you know, before they identified with culture, with many things, anything like that, we have to go all the way back to our ancestors, before Homo sapiens, uh, maybe even before the genus Homo, um, to Australopithecus, but I wouldn't say any more far beyond that. So let's just say some of our ancestors, as they were living, when they were scavengers, foragers, again before civilization, they weren't religious, not at all, of course not. They had no sense of organized religion. Uh, though they were sentient, conscious, somewhat intelligent, they weren't fully there like us. Uh, Homo sapiens have the biggest brains uh, and are fully aware of themselves. But they were somewhat conscious and they did have some supernatural tendencies. Uh, many of them did mourn after people died, they recognized the loss of life. Uh, they even did some burials, but they weren't full out religious and praying. So these supernatural tendencies, I believe, are what started sophisticated religion later on in uh, human evolution. I believe that these supernatural tendencies that our uh, ancestors had uh, were actually uh, advantageous to our survival. Uh, and if you know anything about natural selection, then obviously anything that's advantageous to an organism's survival uh, will remain in the gene pool. So we had specific genes, obviously not by choice, but specific genes that made us lean more towards the supernatural world. Uh, not religious, not religion yet, remember, but the supernatural world. And, and so they were favored because they actually helped us survive. These supernatural tendencies made us perhaps feel better. Uh, it helped us make sense of the world. Um, and so they stayed with us. And of course, because humans were somewhat conscious beings, and they were social animals, uh, they passed down this knowledge. So let's skip a couple of species later, and let's go all the way back. And let's go all the way now to our species, Homo sapiens. I believe that our organized religion that we see today, all the different ones, is just a very sophisticated manifestation of those primal, old-school, uh, supernatural instincts that we once had that helped us survive. Now the thing is, because we got more smart, because we created civilization, culture, and because we created race, the supernatural tendencies grew, language came about, so we were able to explain things, and because we didn't have science or any actual knowledge of the physical world, we, we used our supernatural you know, reasoning, perhaps, that some outside source was the reason for all the physical phenomena we see in life. Uh, and, and that's what we believed in. And, and as the decades, and as the centuries, and as the millennia went by, religion and these supernatural thoughts became more and more developed to the point where they became organized religion. Uh, and to the point where human beings believe these religious thoughts, like God, like prayer, like afterlife, it became so intense and so real that they actually believed that they were like the fundamental laws of physics. Immutable, unchangeable, absolute, uh, which in reality they're not, because in the end, we're the ones who created them, and that's what I want to try to, to, to let you understand. So. To recap, what I believe is our religious nature started off as something that actually helped us survive. Supernatural tendencies. Supernatural to help us put the world in order, to help us get peace of mind. Which I believe that that's what we achieved. Clearly we're here. But now with the advent of science and technology and information exchange, we know better. And a lot of the things that we learn counter all these supernatural beliefs, all these religious beliefs. And what many people today, and I say half the world, let's say three billion plus, maybe even four or five, 
what they don't realize is that was a stage in our mental evolution. Religion was just a, a natural response of a conscious being to its environment. And, uh, you know, I have to, as much as I dislike religion, I have to applaud it for helping us get this far. But I think the human species is ready to take the next step. I, I won't even call it atheism. I won't call it agnostic. Anything like that. Just the next step to the point where religion won't even be a subject anymore. But this is difficult to achieve now because it's so entwined with our culture, with our being, with who we believe we are, and what separates ourselves from someone else. Um, and this is what we have to fix. Are we ever going to give in to reason? We're capable. People use reason. But we always revert back to our primal instincts. So we're in a very interesting transition period right now, and I think it's just something to think about. I want you to remember that Ideas related to your religion and culture are changeable. They're not absolute like the laws of physics. They're changeable, and I, I don't want you to think that that is all that life is. Because there's a whole universe out there. There's much more. There's much more to the country you live in. There's much more to the planet you live on. And there's a bunch more to the galaxy and universe you live in and that you're a part of. So remember that. You're a conscious being you're intelligent, you're capable of reason, use it. And understand that religion was just training wheels. And if you ask me, are we ready to take the training wheels off? I'd say no, because obviously religion is still around and it's very, very powerful, but remember, we are capable of doing so. So keep that in mind. Thanks.